Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we will understand one more application of operational amplifier that is op-amp comparator. So we will understand zero level detector. Sometimes it is called zero crossing detector. So we will understand the circuit behavior of this circuit, how zero level detector works and what is its application right so this is operational amplifier LT1413 and this operational amplifier inverting terminal is connected to the ground and non inverting terminal is connected with a input signal so the input signal is 5 volt peak at 50 hertz sinusoidal signals okay the supply rail for this operational amplifier is plus 12 volt and minus 12 volt so now we will run the simulation command and we will see the input signal and we will see the behavior of output signal what is input signal and what is output signal right to run a command you have to you have to give simulation a transient command that is transient 0 100 millisecond 0 1 mu uic okay so since this is 50 hertz signal so time period for this signal is 20 millisecond so i have considered five cycle of input signal so this is 100 millisecond so your output will be up to 100 millisecond now i will run the simulation command here so go at run button click it there first i will show you the input signal so this is the input signal all right this is the input signal and this is the output signal so this is V out all right so you can see here this is the input signal all right and amplitude for this input signal is 5 volt okay you can see here in cursor 5 volt and amplitude for output signal is 12 volt since your power supply for this operational amplifier is 12 volt so your operational amplifier will go in saturation mode and the output of this operational amplifier will get saturated how this will get saturated if your V in input signal is greater than 0 volt at that point of time V out equals to V set so why this V out equals to V set since this operational amplifier is working now in open loop configuration okay so in the open loop configuration the gain of an operational amplifier is very high let's say for any case it's 10,000 and even if if you apply a small signal difference between two input terminals okay between these two input terminals inverting and non-inverting terminals let's say the voltage difference between inverting and non-inverting terminal is 25 millivolt and your gain is 10,000 so even this small signal will get amplified by the gain of 10,000 okay your open loop gain is very high so at that point of time if you multiply by 25 into 10,000 so you will have very high voltage because of your supply voltage is 12 volt so your open will get saturated at 12 volt right so the output for this operational amplifier 
if v in is greater than 0 volt v out equals to v set and what is your v set v set is 12 volt if v in is less than 0 volt your v out equals to minus v set and what is your minus v set minus v set is minus 12 volt now i will show you in waveform so you can see this is zero crossing so whenever your input signal is greater than zero volt up to here your output is high and that is 12 volt you can see your output is high and that is 12 volt now as soon as your input signal crosses zero zeroth level your output is become low your output becomes low okay and it gets saturated at minus 12 volt so if your input signal is less than 0 volt your v out equals to minus v set so your v out equals to minus v set that means minus 12 volt so you can see here at 0th crossing at 0th level of your input signal your your output signal is switching if your input signal is greater than 0 volt your output is high and if your input signal is less than 0 volt your output signal is low so the basically the application of this circuit is used as you can see here it is converting a sinusoidal wave into a square wave okay sometimes it is also used to detect the phase of voltage level all right so hope you understand the concept of zero level detector if you have any question feel free to ask me in comment section